My name is John Sutherland. Um, my title or handle uh, is, uh, this usually uh, elicits a hollow laugh, uh, Lord Northcliffe Professor Emeritus, that means scrap heap, uh, retired over the hill, uh, of modern English literature at University College London. My own interest in, in, in rap, um, hip-hop, R&B, whatever one calls it, um, is not that, that I'm, as it were, in the core constituency. I'm not an African-American. Um, I'm not even of that kind of age group, which I think responds most, most, most uh, vigorously to, to the music. But I am a, an academic who sees it really as poetry. Rap is very, very word-centered. Um, the essence of rap is what's called you know, sort of um, uh, slanging or rhyming. And the great interest, it seems to me, is, is that that's very often um, spontaneous. Uh, if you listen to someone like uh, Tupac Kashur, Shakur, Tupac Shakur, um, you have the feeling, particularly in his, his angriest songs, I hit him up, uh, that he's actually sort of composing the work as, he, as, as he's singing it. You know, to, to be very professorial about it, one can link it with, with the ver libre, the free verse of someone like Walt Whitman. It's a very American thing. There is a, you know, there's a long tradition of seeing African-American music as jungle music. It's very kind of amusing to someone like myself because, you know, I'm old enough to remember when jazz, crazy music, was regarded as very dangerous for the youth um, of, of this country and indeed the white youth of America. Uh, at my own school, um, the headmaster, in fact, who taught Johnny Dankworth at the school that he was at before, said there could not never be a jazz club. He hated the kind of lifestyle that um, it promoted. Whereas now, of course, you hear jazz on Radio 3. Um, if anything, it's rather stuffy. Now, there's a lot of nonsense spoken, it seems to me, about, about gangster uh, culture and rap. And the truth is, this is a point which is made, for instance, by Quincy Jones, a great musician daughter was going out with Tupac Shakur at the time, who said that, you know, rap uh, musicians, uh, are, are, they, they're great musicians, but they're largely gangsters. Um, Ice-T takes it a step further. He says, I'm no more a gangster, I'm no more a cop killer um, than uh, David Bowie is an astronaut, because he sings about Major Tom. This is a point which is made by the, um, by the African-American critic, uh, Nelson George, that that rap too easily and perhaps wrongly becomes a kind of battle royale uh, in which white people watch black people killing each other or celebrating the killing of each other or you know, creating anthems uh, about what one could think of as a stereotype of ghetto life. That's, I think one has to be very aware of that. Um, and you know, if, you, if, you, if you do respond in this way, I think you have to some extent extinguish that feeling and just respect the music for what it is um, and not see it as a kind of blood sport you know, which is being staged for your delectation.